Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. If you've ever taken photos on your travels only to come home and discover that they're tourists in your shot ruining it completely, then I've got a fix for you. I use two techniques in Photoshop to basically remove anyone from the shot. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you how. This is the shot we're going to use for today's tutorial. It was shot in Bali at the W Hotel in Seminyak. But before we jump into Photoshop, I just wanted to show you that this is the before, the straight out of camera raw file. And to save us some time, I've done some editing already and this is what it looks like afterwards. You're probably wondering why I didn't just wait for these people to move out the shot. And normally I would, but people just kept on coming around the corner and we couldn't get a gap with no one in the frame. So we took the shot and decided to just remove the people in post, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. First prize would obviously be to wait, but if you don't have that luxury, you're able to just remove them in Photoshop. And today I'm gonna to show you the two techniques that I use in order to get that right. So let's jump into Photoshop by going down here, right click, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. The very first thing I do when I get to Photoshop is I duplicate the background layer by hitting Command J. The reason I do this is because any adjustments I make to this layer, I can then hide and I can see what the before shot looked like. So I'm going to zoom in there and the first technique we're going to use is using the lasso tool. So I just hit L, I come in here and I draw a shape around these people. It doesn't have to be too accurate but I want to make sure that everything I want to remove is selected. Next hit shift delete, that'll bring up your full box. You want to make sure content aware is selected, hit OK. You'll see Photoshop does an average job of removing stuff, it leaves a lot to be desired here in this area especially but it's a good starting point for what we're trying to achieve. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that with a second technique and that's to use the clone stamp tool. Just hit S on your keyboard. Over here, we wanna make sure it's not too hard, probably about 50% hardness, just so we don't have any hard lines. We'll come in here, hold down Alt to select a reference point, And then we can start painting that in. We can also come in here and neaten up the floor. We'll just tidy up the floor here as well. Now in order to get this to blend, I'm going to use some of this area here, but drop the opacity a little bit. So let's drop the opacity to about 50%. I'll select this area over here and we'll come in and paint some darker bits just here, just to try and blend it a little more. Bring the opacity back up just to fix this little section here. And that's already looking better. Let's have a look at the before and the after. I think I just want to fix this little section up here just a little bit, drop the opacity back to 50% again, grab some of this darker area. Let's just make this a little darker. Zoom back out. Here's the before and here's after our edits. It looks much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'll quit Photoshop and head back over to Lightroom. If you go down here, you'll see you've got the shot after the edits from Photoshop, and here's the shot from before that we sent to Photoshop. And there you have it guys, no more tourists. So if you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video.